Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to embed your comic machine comic on, into your web page, your website, or onto your WordPress uh, blog. Um, what we're basically doing is taking the iframe tag that uh, the comic machine will generate and then copying and pasting into the body of the um, your web uh, web page HTML or into the body of the um, the uh, WordPress blog post. So first off, um, you need to log into your comic machine account. Uh, again, you can get your own account at uh, www.thecomicmachine.com. You can register yourself and uh, start using it today. Um, so you would have ha have to create a comic in the create uh, part of the website of the uh, platform. And once you've created it, um, open it up. And very simply to get the embed code is under the comic menu. You just go to embed and there's the embed tag. All you need to do is copy, select and copy that um, text and close the uh, comic. So what you gotta do next to uh, embed it onto your web page is to uh, open up an HTML file in uh, that's in your uh, web page or your website. Uh, I'm actually seeing this with uh, Dreamweaver, uh, but as, as if you know anything about HTML, you can just edit with any text editor. So in this version of Dreamweaver, uh, I can view the file in uh, split view. So the top part is the uh, uh, visual interface and down at the bottom is just the code interface so with um, with all um, HTML files the uh, you want to put the um, iframe in between the uh, body tag so there's the body tag here I'm gonna put a space in between there and then paste the um, iframe code so if I click on the uh, top half you see a square showing up I can't actually see it until I actually load it into a browser and uh, conveniently well first I'm gonna save it first just save it as uh, a, -A, -A, a and then um, I'll preview it in Safari as you can see um, it's at the default size of uh, the document which is 1024 pixels by 768 pixels and this is on a yeah a preview of it on the uh, web page not on the comic machine uh, site now say if I want to make it um, a bit uh, smaller you can do that by scaling down these um, dimensions here right it's at deep by default the code is set at 1024 pixels by 768 um, you can adjust it to anything uh, that's uh, proportionate to that so right here is what it starts out at you can do it uh, at any of these dimensions or anywhere in between as long as it's proportionate if not then you get like a black bar on the top or bottom or something just for this purposes uh, I will use 600 by 450 pixels so what I do is I go in there, type 600 to replace the 1024. 768 is replaced by 450. Now if I click on the, uh, the design, uh, the visual, uh, you see the square is a bit smaller. And let's preview that. Just save it first. Um, preview in browser, you can see it's a bit smaller and it's a fully working version of the comic scaled down of course we're, we're working on these uh, user interfaces uh, still a beta version but we will probably replace this with vector um, a vector um, uh, user uh, next button there just so that it scales down with the rest of it and also we don't uh, it's the uh, navigation is not functional it's just a it's just a 
you know just the next button that shows up but in the future versions we will definitely put in a UI navigation uh, for the embedded version so for those of you who have embedded a YouTube video onto your own website this will be very familiar uh, so after that it's been embedded you can uh, further modify the page and not uh, like and not alter the comic so I've as you can see I've centered the um, the comic I can also go in and um, change the background to uh, black so I mean this all could be if you're familiar with um, you don't need to use an HTML editor you can do it in the code uh, and so let's uh, preview it as you can see it's now it's centered on the web page and also um, there's a black background which makes it more presentable and it's a fully functional comic within within your web page so um, you can take this iframe tag and also um, put it into your blog uh, I'm going to just demonstrate a, a WordPress blog um, and I'm going to copy the uh, scaled down version of the iframe tag which is right here when I mean scaled down I meant the um, the width and height is already uh, change to 600 by 450 instead of 1024 by 768 which is the uh, default size by the way you probably don't want to make it uh, too small I think down about 200 here I think it's too small to actually uh, be usable so I am going to make a new post on this WordPress uh, website um, so what you got to do um, is actually edit it with the uh, in the text version which is a strictly text HTML version uh, you don't want to do it in the on the visual side because that's basically you're just seeing the code outright and it won't uh, actually be part of the uh, the HTML code uh, so I just paste it in there you can see visually that it's right there already you can actually see it in, in the preview you can also add what you want as far as a, a title there you go I'm gonna copy this uh, text here iframe comic onto the title so I have something to click on there I'll update And so I'll check the website to see how it looks. Go to the blog. You can see that I didn't uh, put in a featured frame. But if I click on it, you can see that um, the comic is right there in the um, body of the um, blog. So you can add a bunch of text if you want or some uh, description or whatever you want to, to uh, augment the uh, post so another tip uh, that might be helpful is to um, set a featured image for this blog post um, this is an image I already previously uploaded I'm going to update okay so now when I open up that uh, blog there's an like um, an image icon there this is all this is good for your um, blog as well as so when I click on it it'll open up uh, there's a featured image and then the comic is right under it but when you go to share this on social media uh, there'll be a clickable image in your Facebook feed posting uh, which is always good for uh, readers to to see something visual so if you want to learn more about posting to Facebook and uh, 
other social medias um, check the uh, in tutorial video on sharing to social media thanks for watching <laughs>